Hello again. This term I'm really, really excited to start a new thing that we do in our science lessons. Um, we're going to start doing what I call science stations. So every two weeks, we won't do it every week, every two weeks we're going to do a station rotation. Okay, so that means that you will have the opportunity to do one of five activities every two weeks. So by the end of the term, you should have done all five of them. Um, I'm going to organise this in five different stations that will be set up around the room. We might even have one working on the balcony or one next door in the makerspace. Um, most of those uh, stations will be independent work. So it's going to be a quiet activity, not a loud activity. Um, that's so um, I can work specifically with um, one of the groups. Um, I know that you've been doing reading rotations, so it'll be similar to that where you're required to work independently on a task. Now, I've got all of the boxes organised. So for station one, it is about reading and comprehending. So within the box, there will be an information sheet on what you need to do. Reading and comprehending is finding the reading passage that's in the book in the box, sorry, and read it. There will be four short paragraphs that you need to read. Following that, in your book, you'll be given a little recording sheet. Now that's going to be used in here to summarise each paragraph in your own words. It doesn't have to be a long summary, just a few words to um, cap recap exactly what each paragraph was about and then in the end here you're going to write a sentence based on a sentence stem okay now you'll find the sentence stem on your information page okay so all you need to do is follow the instructions it's all right there easy peasy okay um, station two is called the explore station and that's where you'll usually make create, draw some type of model of the phenomena that we are exploring or the topic that we are learning about. All right, that's going to be an independent activity as well. Station number three is called organize it. That's all about taking information and putting it into a graphic organizer. Okay, um, again, it's got an information sheet in there for you to follow. The instructions are right there. Okay, so that um, will be drawn into your book or written into your book um, as you go. Okay, there's no worksheet for that one. Okay, this one, centre four, which is the activity set station, that's the one that I will usually work with that group of students. Okay, again, the instructions just say follow the directions for this week's activity. So each each um, activity might be a little bit different. So this one here is about um, creating a Venn diagram um, with the resources that are already in the box. So follow my instructions when you get to this one. And station number five is a vocabulary station. It's all about the science content words, or the science vocabulary that we are learning about. It has an information sheet, so you can read and get your instructions on there. You'll also be given a little list of words and meanings uh, related to what we're learning about. All you need to do with that is, let me show you, ah, you glue that into your book and use a highlighter to match up the word with the correct meaning. Okay. After you do that, then you're going to do a vocab four square. And what is that you're asking me right now? Let me show you. So a vocab four square is basically a little organizer that's got four squares on the outside. And what you do in those four squares is on your instruction sheet. Okay, so in the middle, you'll do your word. Um, in the top, you write the definition of that word. And if you can't remember what it is, guess what, it's right there. Um, you do a drawing of the word 
And down at the bottom, there's two choices. You can either do an example or a non-example of the word, or you can do the characteristics and real world example. I personally like this one the best. I think it's probably the easiest to understand characteristics and real life examples that probably can get a little bit tricky for some people. So I prefer this one over that one, but it's completely up to you. All right, another independent activity that you'll work through yourself. Okie dokies. That is a super duper fast explanation of how we are going to run our stations. I expect the first one that we do in week two might be a little bit messy, but hopefully we will get it all organized uh, really, really quickly because I don't want to spend a lot of time on these rotations. This is like a 15 minute activity. All right, so we might actually set a timer for this. Um, we can't spend an entire lesson doing these things because they are short activities. Um, <clears throat> after we do these, then we go on to another part of our lesson. Okay. I hope that was easy to understand. Looking forward to doing stations with you in week two.